One Man Show. You are watching the One Man Show. Ooh, one. But bad. But bad. <laughs> one man show. Ooh, the one man show. Ooh, in my Eden Valley. Because of course you know now it's mine. Sunday morning, zero nine thirty hours. Middle of April. Ah, and it's great. Nay, allow me to expand on that. It's fabulous to be alive. And you can show up and all. Oh, let me show you a view behind me now. Well, it's not behind me now. It's behind me now. Just look at the tops on the North Pennines, dusted in snow. My God, do you know there's some mornings you wake up and you just think it's fabulous to be alive. So, <clears throat> what's the topic for today then boys and girls? Well the topic for today is what have you done? What have you done this weekend to make yourself feel proud? couple of you have taken videos fantastic <laughs> but something oh, appeared on my timeline well actually it didn't it appeared in the message from sas my super awesome son now you know why i call him sas i've kept that secret since he was born but well, there's only one person that knows it well, there's loads of people know it now. <clears throat> but he's got an AJS TN12 Roadster, which is a 125, that we got him in March last year, after he turned 17. Got him all the gear. Even two sets of boots, would you believe? Two helmets and gloves and, you know, the whole bloody shebang. Then of course he turns 18. In fact, no. Then he passes his driving test. <sighs> and of course the bike takes second place. Well, you can't go shagging on a 125, can you? And you can't sit in a car park in the middle of Thirsk on a 125 at midnight. And we've all done it. So anyhow, he posts up yesterday that this is my review of the AJS TN12. And he got quite a good response from it. Not only through YouTube, but through when I was cross-posting it. For people to say, we've got an idea. Oh, what kind of idea have you got there? Why don't you and son go and produce a film about touring around on your bikes? But not the bikes we've got. <laughs> Honda C90s, now the thing is every bugger in the world is going on Honda C90s. I've seen three people going from Alaska to Argentina on C90s. One guy I know came from Malaysia back to England on a C90. So there's nothing special about riding C90s. But that is not to say that the idea isn't very good. Because personally, I think it is. But of course, super awesome son. What does he want to be hanging around with his, with his old man for? Because his argument is, we we'll always argue, Dad. We always argue, you see, because he thinks he knows best at 18. Like I did. Like you did. 
like the next generations will because we've got absolutely no idea what lies ahead of us and that's the point I'm going to make if we could predict the future life would be bloody boring <clears throat> if I could tell you what was going to be in a hundred yards time absolutely down to the most finite detail how boring would that be? there'd be no surprises there'd be no excitement there'd be very little to live for so we get ourselves all upset don't we we get ourselves all upset because I don't know what the future's going to hold I don't know if somebody's going to like what I do but some of you this weekend did something different than you've done before maybe you took photographs, you did a video, you posted it to somebody who asked you how good did that make you feel? so come on let's build upon this let's get out there today look at the sun it's a fabulous day it could be pissing down you're breathing that's a fabulous day I mean I mean if we were in a position that when you're dead you could come back <coughs> you could come back and say oh god if only if only I'd taken that decision <sighs> but we all beat ourselves up too much but we all beat ourselves up too much over oh I should do this, I should do that you see not everybody is destined to be millionaire billionaire, trillionaire hundred thousandaire not everybody's destined for that you see if everybody was destined for that life would be shit there'd be nobody to look up to there'd be nobody to aspire to there'd be nobody to emulate there'd be nobody to say god I wish I could do what he was doing because we'd all be doing the same thing we'd all have the same money we'd all have the same aspirations give me a break some people are destined for it like me I would have loved to have been a goalie in a football team in the Premiership I was bloody shit but I love what I do now and I'll guarantee there's a goalie in the Premiership would love to do what I'm doing it's not all about money it's about enjoying what you're doing <coughs> I'm going up that hill again happy days one man show you are watching the one man show Ooh.